Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Monday, January 20th, 2 p.m. Mountain Time, 2020. The models are showing the Northeast is the winner over the next 10 days. Two systems will be moving into that region. The first one, starting as early as this weekend. There's your Friday, Saturday. Keep calm. It's boom time. Newfoundland is buried. Following a brief lull, forecasters say another winter storm looms for the central U.S. It doesn't look that big on the models. Maybe some light snow. The big news right now is the temperatures. Take a look at Sioux Falls at minus 5. It is chilly out there, as predicted. Whitefish Ski Resort sees the deepest snowpack in 25 years. Deepest in Montana right now. Over 100 inches, which is almost the entire season average. Today, there were at 110. Earlier this week, they reached 111, which is not the deepest in the state. It's a deeper base than we ended up with the entire, entire year last year. So excellent ski conditions in Montana and other regions in the West where they're experiencing 100% or greater of the snowpack. A winter storm that hammered the Northeast has moved out to sea, but frosty temps stick around. Chile in the Northeast, Lansing, Detroit, Flint, Marquette, all setting daily snowfall records in last weekend's storm. We have the data. The weekend snowstorm has daily record breaker for a handful of Michigan cities. Lansing, a record snowfall 6.8 inches was set Saturday, breaking the old record of 5.5 back in 1913. Detroit saw a new record of 6.8 inches for the Motor City. This broke the old daily record set back in 1892 of only 5.5 inches. Flint, Michigan, a record snowball 7.1 was set there, topping the old record of five set back in 1960. Marquette observed snowfall 11.6 inches, breaking the previous 7.8 back in 1985. Many people are commenting below that I cherry pick. Well, I, I'm only reporting on record breaking snowfall in the middle of the global warming scam. If that's cherry picking, I don't know what I should be showing. I'm showing record breaking snowfall. When decades ago, the global warming alarmists claimed we would never see snow, we're breaking records back to 1892 in the Moda City. Rochester, Minnesota, also breaking records <laughs> on Friday. After record snowfall, Arctic air hits Metro Detroit. It's not warm out there. It's not your fault it's cold either. It's the sun. Natural climate variability Yes, and our planet responding to all of the effects. After the snowiest January 18th in Detroit's history, with 6.8 inches recorded at Detroit Metro Airport Sunday, will be cold. Was it cold? Because it's Monday. If you're from Detroit, tell me how cold it was. So there is the storm they're talking about through the Midwest, just one to four inches over many states. It'll be widespread, and that's going to move east starting Friday night, Saturday, Friday night, Saturday morning. It will hit the northeast central PA, and it looks like, oh, a second system following behind that. So it should be interesting in the northeast. They're lacking some snow, but it's looking like the Poconos are going to be picking it up. Poconos picking it up. And you can see the snow lull. Only snow in the country in the last 24 hours was in the northeast. Some lake effect and some higher mountain snow there in West Virginia. Record snowfall buries Ottawa as well. Holy macaroni. I must be cherry picking. The cleanup is underway after record snowstorm buried Ottawa. A total of 19 centimeters of cherry picking snow fell at the Ottawa airport between Saturday afternoon and early Sunday morning. <laughs> Who's kidding who? The 14.3 centimeters of snow that fell at the Ottawa airport Saturday set a record of the greatest snowfall on January 18th in Ottawa history. The previous record of 10.2 centimeters was cherry picked back in 1978. The snowfall warning issued by Environment Canada was lifted early Sunday morning as the system moved out, and record snowfall was left in its wake. Snowmageddon cleanup begins after record Newfoundland snowstorm. Blizzard dumps nearly 80 centimeters of snow on Canada's city of St. John's, as government says the military reserves may be called up, and they were called. They got called in to take names and remove snow. Residents are digging out of record-breaking snowfall in Newfoundland, Canada. They're walking on all threes or fours or whatever they're doing there. I don't know what that is, but they're doing it. Okay, I just moved my screen here. I'm going to move it around a little bit more. Bear with me. 
Residents struggle through the snow in St. John's, Newfoundland on Saturday. A record-breaking snowfall in Newfoundland, Canada has left residents with the enormous task of digging themselves out after they get hit with another storm today. I hope they dug out by today. But we're cherry-picking. Toronto remains under extreme cold weather alert after snowfall blanket city. That was cherry snow, cherry snow. Melbourne smashed by storms as bushfires hit southern Victoria. Now, they got we go from epic fires to epic hail in just a few weeks. Now, whatever crops or plants are left got obliterated in these regions. Residents across Melbourne were forced to hunker down as very dangerous storm headed over the city. Many have been talking on social media to describe golf ball size hail, even cricket ball size hail, shredding trees. Go check out CF Jingara's coverage of this event. Because it was on the other side of the world, and we know very little about it. South, Southern Kansas shaken by 4.5 magnitude earthquake in Hutchinson. Now, this is a pretty big earthquake for Hutchinson, but it is predicted. It was predicted. There have been dozens of quakes in Hutchinson, Kansas over the last few years. And people in that region have been worried about these quakes. There's even been investigations into it. And we can see here just eight quakes in the last three months in this area. So not a rare quake at all. Very, But the size of the quake is rare. But it's not rare based on what it is. It's a deep well injection quake. So Hutchinson, Kansas had a cluster of these two magnitudes. And people got worried because they started feeling them. This is an area where they take toxic, radioactive, frack wastewater and inject it underground, under your house, at a safe depth. It's at a safe depth. And it doesn't create earthquakes. That's what the study concluded. And here we have a 4.5, right on top of the deep well injections in Hutchinson. Which means, just like in Oklahoma and other regions where four magnitudes are the standard, the norm, Hutchinson, four magnitudes, now the new norm in Kansas. But it's not caused because of fracking. We did a study. We did this study. Seismic update. A couple big boomers. A lot of six magnitudes kicking off. And the biggest quake you note is a 6.1 in Bristol Islands. We also had a six magnitude in Indonesia, six magnitude in China over the last 24 to 36 hours. But the Hutchinson quake is the most disgusting of all. <laughs> I'll leave you links to all this below so you can do your own homework, your own research. And when you check out the article, um, you can even click a link to the paper. Just Google Hutchinson frack quakes and you'll get some data. Trust me. Worldwide volcano news update. Fuego puffing to 14,000. But the big news is Shishaldin blowing its top to 30,000 feet up in the Aleutians. Now, the 30,000 foot eruption of Shishaldin is the same as the 60,000 foot eruption of Tall. Because the stratosphere is that much closer up in the Aleutian Islands. 30,000 feet is basically reaching the stratospheric boundary and some of that is up and in there. So we're going to be keeping a close eye as we have a moderate uptick in volcanic activity over the last several weeks. Now the tall volcano, the surface activity from the main crater uh, continued to slowly decrease. It's been decreasing ever since the main eruption, characterized by steady steam emissions, infrequent weak explosions that generated ash plumes rising around a thousand meters. Sulfur dioxide remains elevated 4,300 tons per day. Seismic activity has been intense and increased a bit compared to yesterday. Right here, you can see the strips as, as they're going here. And you can just click on this to get a, a blow up right here and the update. And you can see here the date, 21st of January 20th. And so this is the main seismicity has been decreasing with a lull here uh, on the 18th completely. Even more lull on the 19th, but you can see here a slight uptick in activity, especially right in this region. So we're going to be keeping a close eye on this because this is a deadly and dangerous volcano and it is ongoing. Links to all this below. Oh, that was the Shishaldin eruption. So let's reopen that real quick and take a look. There is still residual ash, volcanic ash from the 30,000 foot eruption. And moving at a flight level of just 300, so... That's 30,000, 30,000 feet, 300, Three, flight level 300, 30,000 feet. We have some amazing footage of Sakurajima erupting 
uh, 48 hours ago. And there, take a look at the city below here. Can you imagine if you were down there and this is what happened at night? People must be on edge there. It's it's a scary scenario. If that was twice as big, all those people would have burned to death in lava bombs. It's pretty, some pretty serious stuff going on here. Take a look at another version of the explosion over the city. Boom! Fantastic. Links below to this footage of people almost getting fried near Sakurajima. Security tightened Virginia's state capital as gun rights rally gets underway. Could this be another Charlottesville? I, I don't think so because it's not a white supremacy rally. It's a gun rights rally. And over half of the population supports the Constitution and their right to bear arms. So what you're going to see here is families and lots of people that support the right to bear arms. It's a different event. I'm sure there will be some bad apples there. Yes, there will be the bad apples. Climate refugees cannot be sent back home, United Nations rules and landmark decision. Well, if they get there because of the climate and it's your fault, they got to stay. Refugees fleeing the effects of the climate crisis. That means anything. So there you go. Free pass to migrate, folks. The United Nations has said so. Bernie Sanders says this. Major cities are going to be underwater in eight or ten years due to climate change. Well, Bernie, you just nailed the coffin shut. You will never be president. Simply based on this sentence. Any logically thinking human would never vote for an idiot who thinks that cities will be inundated in less than ten years. Because ten years ago, I went to the shore, and twenty years before that, and there's no change in the sea level, Bernie. Uh, Philadelphia is at sea level and there are no buildings underwater in decades. And you telling me in nine years, cities, major cities are going to be underwater, says Bernie Sanders. I wonder how that, if that a stroke affected him in any way. Puerto Rico emergency director fired after residents discover a warehouse filled with BPA tainted water. And they take selfies. They're taking selfies. There's the warehouse down here. It's open the image that barely has any resolution. You can barely see what they found. Acres, if not square kilometers of plastic, BPA laden. Oh, it's delicious. Go get some of that. It's been sitting in this hot warehouse for almost a year. Drink it up. Delicious. You're fired. Now hand out that water. Gun rights rally looms in Virginia. Did I say that? I haven't heard anything from it. Nothing's going on there. And we're live during the rally now. Trekkers from South Korea, China, missing in Nepal. Five foreign nationals and two locals were swept away when an avalanche hit a trekking route. It's going to be a while before they find those people. Maybe never. Precision fermentation. What it is and how it could make farming obsolete. According to this article, lab-grown meat will get so cheap that it will crash modern agriculture. And plants will be so easy to manufacture in a lab that no one will grow them anymore. It's stupid. Agriculture is bad for the planet and is killing all of us. Now, I agree with that if you talk about big ag. But big ag is not actual farming. It's a crony capitalistic swinging door that connects big agriculture with big chemical and the big farm in a loop that keeps you alive but sick and makes all the elites rich while they destroy the planet and tax you for plant food. Plants are bad. Pay your taxes. Bad tax. Now, precision fermentation will not replace agriculture because agriculture is why we're here. And there's too many of us. <laughs> too many sheep. Anyway, if we all knew what was going on, we'd be acting accordingly and this world would be a wonderful place. 
one-of-a-kind dinosaur specimen discovered in China. Offers view into dinosaur bird evolution. Do you ever look at a chicken? Basically a velociraptor. Links will be below. Violent solar storms are happening closer to Earth than anyone thought possible. And soon, we will be experiencing it. Here's the paper, Near-Earth Magnetotail Reconnection Power Space Storms. If you care, go get it. Magnetic field studies in the next decade. I know some of you are interested in this paper. Take a look. Magnetic fields are ubiquitous in our universe. Well, someone knows something. Check out the paper. I'll be doing a video tonight on this paper. And the title of the video will be the title of the paper. Risks for life on habitable planets from super flares of their host stars. Micronova much? And we will explore some of the ramifications of super flares on habitable planets in that video. What if the universe has no end? Well, if the electric universe model is right, it doesn't. It's infinite. It goes on forever. And it's probably inside another infinite one that goes on forever as well. Isn't that weird? Bubbles of infinity. Meanwhile, Newfoundland. Hope you got something out of the video. We cherry picked this photo. Thanks to all our one-time donors. <laughs> Everyone who shares these videos, give it a thumbs up, comment if you can, and be the change you want to see.